It's four years ago now since I started experimenting and trying my hand at making natural, healthier, chemical-free alternatives to the toxin-filled, chemical-laden products usually available on the market. This bug spray has been one of my latest creations and I'm just over the moon with how well it turned out. I love to use it when I'm out hiking, camping or when I'm out in nature, meditating or just basking in mother nature's beauty. One of the things I've found to be really helpful is pairing this bug balm with my homemade natural insect repellent. Both do wonders for keeping insects away. I hope this tutorial inspires you to make your own bug balm or insect repellent to help keep bugs away without using those chemical field bug sprays and repellents. So I love gardening and hiking out in nature, but with this comes a lot of insects. So when I go outside for long periods of time, I often use my homemade ultimate insect repellent, which has worked super well, but I also pair it with this bug balm just as an extra booster to keep these bugs away. I've used essential oils of eucalyptus, tea tree, rosemary and peppermint in this bug balm today to help repel bugs with their natural scents. However, do feel free to add other essential oils that are great for repelling bugs like citronella as well. I've also used coconut oil as a natural antibacterial and it's very moisturizing, both wonderful for healing bites and nourishing skin. I've used shea butter which contains skin loving vitamin E and may help to soothe and calm bites. I've used beeswax today but you can opt as a vegan option to use candelilla wax or cacao butter. These ingredients just help to create a protective breathable barrier over your skin helping the bug bite balm to stay on for longer. The rosemary oil helps to ease redness and may help to calm angry red bites. Peppermint oil is just very strongly scented and a natural antiseptic and may help to also sanitize and prevent infection. The lemon juice is our super ingredient in this insect balm today as it's a natural insect repellent, helping to keep biting insects away. And the eucalyptus oil is a great disinfectant and may help to prevent infection if the bites get irritated or scratched in any way. I hope this tutorial today inspires you to make your own bug balm or insect repellent as a natural, clean, healthier way at keeping bugs away without unleashing a chemical toxic waterfall on yourself and others. For the full recipe, you can also find it on my blog, which I'll link in the description below if you guys want to refer to it later on so you don't have to keep watching this video over and over again. But if you do, I hope you enjoy it each time. So to make this bug balm today, all you're going to do is add the beeswax, shea butter, coconut oil and almond oil to a medium sized glass jar and place this jar into a saucepan filled with a small amount of water, just enough for the water to reach just above the level of the oil line inside the jar. You don't want to fill it too high as you don't want any of the water to spill over into the jar. What you're doing is just creating a double boil. You're going to heat this on medium heat until the wax has completely melted. While it's on the stove, you can stir in the lemon juice. This is just so the beeswax doesn't harden when you do this. However, I did make this mistake by taking it off heat, I forgot, and I put the lemon juice in while it was out of the hot water and you could see that it, the wax was starting to harden again and set. So I just returned it back into that hot water and stirred the lemon juice through to remelt the wax. And then I removed it from the water again and let it cool on the table. Once you've removed the jar from the hot water, remember to turn off the stove and pour this wax mix into small clean jars. I just used one clear glass jar that I'd had from a previous product that I bought. I like storing leftover jars so that they don't go to waste in landfill and they're great to use for little DIY projects and products that I make at home. Once you've poured your mix into the jar or jars, add in the essential oils and then you want to stir quickly with a toothpick. I do this as it saves on washing up later on and then I just compost the toothpick once I'm done. So you want to make sure to stir the essential oils in quickly and then allow it to set for a couple of hours at room temperature. Adding in the essential oils on the stove will cause them to evaporate, that's why we add them in after. 
Mum made some banana bread for us while I was waiting for the bug balm to set and it just looks amazing. Like I'll show you what it looks like inside. Fresh out of the oven. <gasps> Yum! <laughs> I'm going to have a piece now while I'm waiting for the bug balm to set. And then once it's set, it's all good to go. This balm only takes 10 minutes to make and works so well to ward off insects. Again, without needing the toxic chemical shower of bug sprays. So to use this bug balm, it's pretty easy. All you do is apply the bug balm onto your body liberally, avoiding your face. I often do apply it on my face and just avoid my eyes, as essential oils can cause irritation if they get into your eye. So if you do apply it onto your face like me, just be careful around your eye area. And this will help to keep pesky bugs away. This balm can also be used as a soothing treatment balm after being bitten and can help ease itchiness, redness, welts and irritation. All you do is apply the bug balm onto any affected area and it can help to soothe any irritated bites. The antiseptic properties of the balm may also help prevent potential infections from scratching. Just make sure to keep this bug balm out of direct sunlight and just use within 6-9 to nine months. If you like, you can store your bug balm in a dark glass jar. This will help protect the essential oils even more. Also, just make sure to do a tester of this bug balm beforehand by applying a tiny amount to a small bit of skin to make sure there is no adverse reaction, as some people can be sensitive to essential oils, especially peppermint oil. And there you have it, the easy breezy bug balm. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. If you do try it out, please let me know. And if you do have any questions, just feel free to leave a comment in the description below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye.